How can I politely decline her offer of being exclusive after knowing her past? Just be honest. Rip the band-aid off. Say, hey, I think you're a great girl, but I'm not ready to be exclusive, or I just don't feel that level of chemistry where I want to be serious or be exclusive. But you have to understand that if you tell her that, she might be like, hey, I appreciate the honesty, but I, I, don't, I don't want to continue dating. I'm looking for somebody that eventually wants to settle down or have a family or put a ring on my finger, whatever, whatever it happens to be. And so mm-hmm. if you're honest like that, you may lose the girl. Mm-hmm. But the worst thing you can do is lie to her and tell her that you are going to be exclusive when you continue to go and date other women. Yeah. I mean, he said that he knows her past, so I don't think he has any intentions in the future of being exclusive yeah just tell her you don't have to say oh it's because your past just say yeah I'm, there's n-. what do women always say to guys oh there's not enough chemistry there's not enough spark between us yeah i don't feel we really you know have the same goals same values i just feel we're too far apart in that i like you I like hanging out yeah we could be friends of benefits mm-hmm. the girl may turn that down she may continue to be friends of benefits and then all of a sudden she finds somebody else and she dips and then oftentimes when that happens, the guy's like, oh, I lost the love of my life. I got to yeah. get her back. Help me, Corey. Yeah. It's like you didn't care about her until she was gone. You didn't care until you got rejected because rejection yeah. breeds obsession. Your interest literally like doubles. Mm-hmm. You want you're weak. not the one getting blown off. Right. Or in other words, it wasn't your choice. Mm-hmm. That's crazy that people always want what they can't have. It's like a selfish thing about us. Yeah, but in those cases, like when the, you know, say that does happen, say that he's like, yeah, let's just be friends with benefits. And then, you know, a month or so from now, she starts to get serious with somebody else that does make the effort. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, hey, I met somebody else. I can't see anymore. We could be friends. Or, hey, it's just not appropriate. Yeah. And then he's like, I got to get her back. This is the love of my life. What was I thinking? I was so stupid. I had to love my life. And it just, it didn't hit me until she met somebody else. And then they, you know, they get her back because mm-hmm. they have more time in, with her and they apply what's in my book and then seven principles get an X back. And then they get her back and about 90 days later, he feels the same way that he did before when he didn't really give a shit and didn't want to be serious with her. And then right. what happens is he leaves her at that point. But the flip side is it was him deciding to end it the second time around. Right. And then he'll feel good about it. But the idea is to avoid that because now you just wasted her time given her false hope that you were into her when you really weren't. Because whatever you felt about her before when you didn't care, that will return once you get her back again. Yeah. She didn't become a different person. She didn't become more interesting overnight or more attractive overnight. Mm -hmm. It's like you talked yourself into it because you lost what you had. Right. And it wasn't your choice. And for us guys, it's an ego thing. You don't care until they don't care anymore or they care less. Right. Typically... Who ye who cares the least has the most leverage. Such an asshole move. That's so selfish. You gotta be honest though. You you know, that's a downside because and a lot of times men in these cases will just they'll lie. Mm-hmm. And then they'll continue to date and fuck around or whatever, hoping to find somebody that they really do like, and then they can, you know, dump the girl or whatever, but and then, and then she gets hooked mm-hmm. and starts telling all of our, all of her family, oh, it's my new boyfriend, and then come to find out he's just trying to keep her locked up so he has steady access to the box while he looks for somebody he really likes. If someone tells you they love you and they want to be with you, they'd love you. They would love you and be with you. Mm-hmm. If somebody tells you that they love you and want to be with you, but they won't spend time with you and they won't really act like a true teammate and a partner, then basically what happened is your, your booty call sold you a line of bullshit yeah. and locked you up just to continue to have access to the box. I wish it were easier for people to understand that, like in the moment, like trusting someone's actions rather than their words, because we get so blinded and fed with all these lovely, beautiful, goo goo gaga things that people say to us. And then we don't really base off what they're saying with their actions. That's why you gotta look what people do, not what they say. Because talk yeah. is cheap. People will bullshit you. They will right. tell you things that aren't true just so they keep getting what they want. Yeah. But the bottom line is if you're not getting what you want and they're not showing you through their actions that they truly mean what they say, then you got to make your decisions based on their actual actions. Make a cheat sheet. Pros and cons. People that care make the effort. People that don't will give you, they'll sell you a load of bullshit like Barack Obama. He's one of the greatest bullshit artists that ever lived in the history of mankind. Isn't he gay now? 
Or was that just like a trolling <laughs> thing? Well, supposedly there was a guy that said, claimed that he was Barack Obama's gay lover many years ago. Yeah. And Barack admitted to him that he loved having sex with men. <gasps> no way. Supposedly. And then also, you know, kind of a conspiracy, if you if you will, is a lot of them say that Michelle Obama was actually a man. And okay. she's a trans person. And that the daughters aren't really theirs. And uh, and then there's like a couple friends of the family, and they compa- you know they have their you know a couple other guys, and they have their picture and a woman for that matter. Mm-hmm. They have their picture compared to the daughters, and you're like, wow, the you know the one daughter lo- actually looks more like this woman than she does Barack or Mich- Michelle, and the other girl looks more like this other particular guy that was kind of like in their orbit, and so they were like, you know, because people are going. We've never seen any pictures of Michelle Obama pregnant. Oh, I've heard of that too. Yeah. She and then so, been... you know, there's some pictures where, you know, because she's a big woman, you know, and she's got, you know, big back. And so there was one where she's in a, in a white dress and she's walking next to him and he looks like this scrawny dude and she kind of looks like a giant linebacker. Yeah. Like an NFL football player. She could have had And people were like, oh, see, she's a man. And there's some other ones where she's got like a dress on and it looks like there's, you know, she's got a a, a dick and balls basically because there's a bulge. Really? Why have I not seen I could seen be altered. These? I don't know. It's, oh, my god! I don't know what the truth is. <laughs> Nothing surprises me anymore, but that's kind of the conspiracy that the kids are not theirs and that, you know, they claim that Michelle Obama is a trans person. Oh my goodness. And then I saw that. Like, or she's a, actually still a man. Oh my gosh. She could have had a surrogate. You never know. But Maybe they did. But it still, could, if they had a surrogate, you know, it could still be their kids. True. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What, it, nothing surprised. Truth is stranger than fiction. I have no idea. But that's one of the interesting conspiracy theories out on the internet, and sp- especially Twitter. You see it all the time. And the memes and the stuff they do are... are they're mean. They're kind of mean-spirited, and they're cruel, and they're not very nice. But some of this shit is pretty funny, though, you, you got to admit. We should get some pictures and put them put them up if we can find them. Well, we can do that. I mean, you can look look them up on Twitter. Okay. Michelle Is Michelle Obama a man or something like that? Put oh that in there. Are, are the Sasha and Malia actually the Obama's kids or something like that? And isn't, You'll find all kinds of things about that. Isn't Obama like a marijuana smoker too, or something that he? Oh was... yeah, his nickname in in college when he was at Harvard was Barack Oganja. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Because he smoked a lot of weed. That's hilarious. He's a chain smoker. He loves cigarettes. Ew. But apparently, he doesn't smoke weed anymore. But in college, he was he was part of the Chum gang. They called it what? Chum, meaning they all were blazing up. Hell, if I was going to Harvard with those guys, I'd be blazing up along with them. I'd right. be part of the Chum gang, too. I'd be... I still would have told him he was fucking nuts in his political views, and he's a <laughs> communist, but I still would have smoked a bowl with him. 